What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do what we do with the old Throne of Eldraine. Oh, God, I still have to write an article tonight, don't I? That's terrible. I totally forgot about that, and I have no idea how I did that. I forget every week. I'm just not used to it, I think. Um, Bognati, Fervent Champion. I kind of like Resolute Rider more than Bognati. I mean, it commits us to... Kind of commits us to two colors, but I think it's one of the stronger hybrid cards. You could also just take Searing Barrage. I kind of like Searing Barrage. F. L. Or. Huh. Nailed it, Chris. I think you nailed it, buddy. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I guess Barrage is fine. I mean, like, is Bognati just better than Barrage? Maybe. Do we just want to be red aggro here? Also, maybe. I don't know. I think it's either this or this. I think it's one of these two. I don't think it's Bognati. I like black better than red. And, uh... It's definitely, uh... <clears throat> Very good card. Um, I might just take the Garenbrig Paladin here. I think green black is a pretty strong archetype. Could also take the Venerable Knight and just try to be black white knights. But like, I think Paladin is just a strong card, and um, I think we're more likely to get a bunch of food in this in this archetype. So. <clears throat> Okay, out muscle. Out muscle is where you want to be. I have not seen out muscle in ages, so. I'm going to go right ahead and take that. Garage is only okay. Garage? I don't even know what that means. Fireborn Knight. Well, you are not on the menu, good sir. Thoughts on Mystery Boosters having 1,936 cards in it? That seems unreal. Uh, now that I've heard that, <clears throat> my thoughts are that that is an unreal number of cards. That's interesting, though, because you can... It's almost like... I kind of like it, though, because it's almost like old-school magic before the internet, where, like, you open a pack and you have no idea what's going to be in it. You know what I mean? Like, it could literally be anything. There's no guarantee of you getting any card if you open a mystery booster. That's super interesting. I think witch is tempting. I think foreboding fruit's also tempting. Tempting fruit and tempting witch. A um, lot of good blue cards in this pack as well. I think all four of these are very, very playable, um, which is interesting. And it might... <clears throat> I think Charm Slave is top tier removal. I think I'm just gonna take the fruit here, and we get another tempting witch. And like, I think this is better than Queen of Ice, Inspiring Veteran, Brimstone Trebuchet, and a Searing Barrage in this pack. That's pretty good. What up, Haji Boy? What up, TP TPO? Shepherd, Foreboding Fruit number two. Garen Briggs Squire is just a two drop that we could use. Hmm. I think it's just Squire. I don't love it, especially with no adventures yet, but I think we'll probably get some adventures, so. Also a third Foreboding Fruit, so that's probably where you want to be, I guess. <clears throat> Haji Gulashi, dude. <clears throat> I was going to post about this. I figured it was either you or JTHD. And, uh, buddy, <laughs> oh God, I'll be showing the stream at some point. Oh my God, dude. That's unbelievable. It might just be Ginger Brute. Let's just take the Ginger Brute. <clears throat> Cabin could be decent with all this food that we're trying to get. Oh my god. Hodge Galashi, dude. You are unbelievable, my dude. 
Oh my god. I can't, like, I wish I could just show you guys. I'm not even going to say it, because, like, if I just tell you what it is, he's going to, it's not going to be the same at all. So I'll just be sure and show you guys what Hajigurashi sent me a little later. How many knights do we have? Just the one, right? One sponsor, what's going on? What if I just play Weapon Rack to put counters on the Ginger Brute? <clears throat> Solid as a rock. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Actually, is that better than second? Yeah, we can probably get another Tempting Witch, but I want to make sure we have one of these. Oh, that's a late lonesome unicorn. Oh, little piggies. I mean, piggies are fine. I think our deck is okay. I like Weapon Rack because we have Ginger Brood. Maybe we can put some counters on this guy. God, how many magic mirrors do I open? Good lord. Good lord. I have to open more, more of this specific mythic than any other card. This pack is also pretty terrible for us, unfortunately. I guess it's just Curious Pair. God, first pick Curious Pair is terrible. Uh, I have not played Death Stranding yet. Don't spoil, please. Oh, God. oh, oh Death Deathless Knight is nice. Now we're talking. I would like to take a Reeve Soul, but we're going to take this Deathless Knight. That's a solid, uh, that's a little solid thing there. Wow, for voting for number three, Eye Collector are two options. I guess we can take Shambling Suit, but that seems pretty bad. Searing Barrage, Castle Arden Veil. Ugh, God. This pack is just very good for the White Drafter, though. Get an Arden Veil, a Sir Allen. It's two for voting for, just like... <clears throat> So someone said you have to get like 10 hours into um, to Death Stranding to really start getting into the good stuff. I, they, I, I was told the... Wow, like so many Thunderous Snappers. And we could have we could have had them all, guys. We could have had them all. Um, I was told that like <clears throat> the first 10 or so hours is deliberately slow and grindy. Yeah, I think I like Lost Legion over a second Mara Leaf Rider. Fay of Wishes, double malevolent. Oh, we're Rose Thorn Acolyte. I'm a big Rose Thorn Acolyte fan. Ooh, Garen Brig Paladin. I like Garen Brig Paladins even more when we have Rose Thorn Acolyte. Um, <clears throat> I picked up two games this past week, one of which was the pre-order for the Hearthstone expansion pack in December, and the other was Fallen Order, is that what it's called? I always forget what it's called. Yeah, Star Wars Fallen Order. That game's looking great. 
Um, I'm just gonna take this. Scarecrow is actually just f actually Tree Folk's probably even better, right? <coughs> Squire's okay as a two drop, I guess. We have nine. Uh, oh, it's like 19 creatures. No, that's not the creatures. Lockthwain Paladin, are you any good? Maybe. I pre-ordered P Jack Meatball Adventure. That doesn't sound like a real game. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you, my dude. Hearthstone expansion, you say? I've been playing it. I have not, Chris. I've been really looking forward to it. <clears throat> Is it good? Chris, what do you think? Shut up and take my money. How is your face eye feeling? Here is five feel better dollars. My face and I are feeling fine. Thankfully. <clears throat> Guess we'll take a roving keep. Solid as a rock. Hold on, let me do something real quick. Also, TBO, thank you so much for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Sometimes I answer the question or like or I respond to whatever the person is saying, but I don't actually thank them. So I want to make sure I thank you because you guys are great. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay, hold on. Let me do something. Uh. Orange my club. Cloud white maroon. Solid as a rock. I do like Falmire Knight. Stolen by the Fae is so friggin' good, though. Good lord. I mean, we can't just take it. We can't take this double blue card and splash it. Revenge of Ravens is actually better than Falmire Knight. I always overlook this card. I think it's... I don't think I, over, I, I overlooked it this time. And I think the reason was because... Um, it looks like a lot of people are having fun playing it. It's not my cup of tea, though. Same reason why I never played I actually meant to get into Team Fortress Tactics and Dodo Underlords because I wasn't sure what they were all about. And everyone seemed to love them. And um, that's kind of the reason I was excited about Battlegrounds. Because it felt like it was a more approach approachable uh, form of those games for me. If that makes sense. Oh, another out muscle? Jeez. Alright. Yeah, let's take that. Boom, 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 Cube comes back Wednesday, and I, it could not be soon enough. It could not be soon enough, my friend. Garenberg Palette number three. Curious Pair number two. <clears throat> uh, I think it's the Legacy Cube. Wow, three three briberies on three gristle brands. How did you win, how did you lose a game after briberying their gristle brand? That's my question. I think it's just curious pair. I don't think we need a third Garen Big Paladin. I do like the food option when we do have uh, Bog Naughty. Oh, Bog Naughty! I don't think I want a third Garen Big Squire. I don't think I care about Malevolent Novel. Oh, we're playing best of five. Wow. <clears throat> That's interesting. I'm 100% the kind of person who cleans out die rolls, RNG, etc. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's also funny, though, because you, I have known you exclusively through, or through card games. You know what I mean? So it's kind of funny that you're like, well, <clears throat> I don't like random stuff. But let me, let me play this card game. <clears throat> I have to keep reminding myself this is live. I got so used to enjoying the audience rank dot YouTube dot net and liking and subscribing and leaving a comment below. <clears throat> I appreciate all those things that you did. Lost Legion can probably take a hike, I guess. 
This is what I'm doing for this ginger brood. I'm trying this ginger brood out. Oh, fierce, fierce witch talker. Yes. I'm trying it out so hard that I'm keeping it over like a lost legion, which is a... Oh, we can take wolf's quarry out. I also refer to Games Workshop, play Warhammer 40k at Dice. Yeah, right. Like, the, my, my entire experience with you, Chris, is uh, dice-based slash random games. So that's kind of funny. Eh, that's kind of funny. Eh, it's a little funny. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this card because it's very good. <sighs> What's your name? Wow, Double Oak Game Ranger. Holy shit. That's insane. Why would you give me these? Jesus Louises. You do play Overwatch. Yeah, <clears throat> that's true. And I think you play Overwatch more than you play any card game I can think of. Can you guys give me serious suggestions as to what to write about for Wednesday? <clears throat> When it is Wednesday, my dudes. Looking for real suggestions that you guys would like to hear something about. Not eh, Cube is hard to write about because the audience is very, very limited. Very limited, unfortunately. Give me something. Give me something good that's going to be like popular. That's some that people want to hear about. That can fill up fifteen hundred words. That's my. That's my requirement. Why cube is better than standard? <laughs> that one, you get standard fans to click. Uh, and then I'm just gonna be like three words. It's gonna be like. Because it's awesome. Oh, dang. I think this deck looks good like this. We have, like, no adventure cards. This guy's just, like, generic 2-2 most of the time. Is that just worse than a Lost Legion? Probably. I just have two Curious Pairs. I think that's just worse. God, I'd really love to play these. Two Rose Thorn Acolytes. Dang. Chris, do you, have a, do you have a link for the card list? Chris, are these new printings in the mystery in the mystery packs? Are they new printings of all those cards? Chris, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Because for some reason I was I was under the impression that the mystery boosters were actually, um, like the original printings for some reason. You know what I mean? Like, like kind of like they did that uh, the treasures, the Zendikar treasures. You guys remember that? And like, those wouldn't be they weren't necessarily um, they were old cards, but they were stuck in new packs. You know what I mean? I might just bring in Return to Nature. That could just be good enough. 14 creatures. Do we just want this Lost Legion? I actually think Lost Legion's fine. Double Black is kind of tricky, though. Like, we have no reason to have Double Black. We could just play the easy. I don't know, man. I did have a non-cube suggestion. Uh, modern decks that can be easily converted to Pioneer. Um, Yeah, I could see that. <clears throat> that's a good topic. I feel like I would do that if I had more time to research that. Like, I'm just going to have to do my article tonight, and I don't want to spend, like, six hours on it. I like that idea, though. I think there's a lot of, uh, a lot of room for that. Yeah, I'm just putting the return in. I think the return is just good enough. 10-6. Eh. This is 8-8. I don't want to go 7 nine or seven 
seven ten. It just feels worse. I guess we do over at two rose thorn acolytes. I guess this is actually probably fine. I I agree with the OK Rangers. Like two of them seems very very good. It, I, I could feel like we could take out the Ginger Brute and the Weapon Rack and just play double OK Rangers. I think that's just better. I agree. I agree. Scroll down to like five paragraphs down to see one of the cards. I feel like I was looking at pictures, right? And I did see the, the, the Planeswalker symbol on the left, but then I was like, I couldn't tell if that was a new thing or an old thing. I was like, is that just old? Oh, it's definitely old. Yeah, this commander. Yeah, because this commander card did not have that. That's so interesting. That's so weird. Wow. Um. Pfft. Yeah, I'll keep this. We're on the play. If we can hit any land, we get to Foreboding Fruit into, like, Deathless Night. Can you just buy boxes of mystery boosters or are they only at like events or what's the what's the deal? I feel like I'm asking you guys all these questions and I hope you guys don't mind. It's just that I'm I'm streaming right now so it's hard for me to answer these or uh, find out the answers rather. Only at events until March 13th, 2020 and then what are they being sold in, in their boxes? Like you can buy a booster box of, of mystery booster? That's crazy, dude. It was weird seeing all the people who, like, weren't excited about this. Like, it seems really cool. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, wow. Alright, so... I guess we're just playing Rosie. And hoping they don't scorch me dragon fire. They did not. You can buy the retail version, which has a curated list of foils instead of the playtest cards. That's interesting. Uh, mm, uh, you know what? I'll take one. I don't feel like blocking this little guy. Oh, yeah, look at you. You had a little Rim Rock Knight. <clears throat> so if we get a green, we can play, make two 1-1s, one -ones, which is pretty good against both of these guys. We did not. So now we have no real... I don't think we're out muscling here. Some people are scared of mystery. Like, what is in our meatballs? It's a mystery. Yeah, that is pretty scary. I agree with you. See, now we're going to... Now we're going to outmuscle. Now it's interesting because they didn't have enough mana to do anything. Push it to the limit. Do, 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 do. Walking on the razor's edge. <clears throat> I'll just seven you here. Wow. All right, now you're just being rude. Huh. Can't do that. You can't do anything. Well, we need a land. Come on, what's going on, my dude? I guess we'll play Merrily Friday. That seems fine. Because now we can block here. I'm okay with that. Oh, your own Rose Thorn Acolyte, eh? Why wouldn't you play this 6-5? Fascinating. Oh, we can actually... Ah, if you need a green, this is terrible. Because I'm like, oh, I can tap a black to add a green. And then use these to make another green. And then make another thing. I'm like, no, we can't do that. Dang. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, let's do it. Yep, this is fine. <coughs> Mono five fives. Let's do it. Yep, that's fine. Would you like to trade? Oh, well, that's just gonna that's just gonna win us the game, I guess. Let's do it with the adamant support. So that our guy doesn't die. That seems good, right? It's snowing here, so nobody wants sandwiches. <laughs> you know what? If it was snowing, I could go for a warm sandwich. Can you mail me a pepper jack meatball sub? Extra mayo, please. Did you convert? What does that mean? To the Meatball Mayo Club? Oh, unfortunately, come on, I did not convert. Right about whether or not it's important to be fashionable, wear a black t-shirt of heavy magic gun. It's funny, I've been I've been spent I spent most of my day looking at Yeezys and uh, Adidas Ultra Boost 19s. So that's been my day. I've been looking at sneakers. Also, there's a there's a, a Nike shoe. It's called the Nike Blazer. It's an off-white, uh, which is a popular which was a uh, it was a brand designed by a designer his name is Virgil and uh it looks like this and uh it's it's pretty sick and I've been trying to I've been trying to cop a pair of those bad boys but um it's difficult because they're they're pricey so it's hard to it's hard to do guys <clears throat> meatball sandwich is spicy mayo it has two out of five stars. I want to read the comments. They're probably going to be like, you know what? Fuck off with this. Oh, man. I wish there was a comment section where someone's like, no, dude. Just stop. Oh, see this hand I like. It's weird when you're reading a friend's Facebook page and you see comments from Frank. Well, who's the friend? I'm curious whose page I commented on. Oh, Sherwin? Yeah, I added Sherwin myself, actually, because me and Sherwin would, like, like each other's comments on friends' posts, and I'm like, you know what? Sherwin seems like a cool dude. I'm going to add him. And so I added him. And it's been a good choice. I think Sherwin's a cool dude. I try to add, if, if people, like, if I can get along with people and, like, we, we mutually, like, like each other's stuff and it feels like a supportive, like, mutually beneficial, like, Facebook relationship, I'll add those people because that's cool. And that's all I look for in interactions. I just want to be uh, mutually supportive of people. <clears throat> Sharon gave me the computer I want to. That's hilarious. <laughs> all right, so I guess I was correct in my assessment then. That he is a nice dude. I know you're not a big on meats, and even though I am, I've been trying more meat alternatives. My grocery store had this plant-based Italian sausage. Was... Cabal, is it the Beyond Meat uh, sausages? Because those, those are actually insane. Did they look like this? God, it's saving everything is like a... Okay. okay. Let's see if this is still going to open up. Yep. All right. Of course it is. They look like... Was it this? 
Because these are like so good. Dude. Oh, it's ground up? Okay. It just it blows my mind. I'm just like, how is that real? I don't know. Um, push it to the limit. I don't think we're attacking because I really don't want this guy to get through. So we're just going to cast Rose Thorn Acolyte here. Either way, the first time I cooked these Beyond Meat sausages, I was just like, the, the smell was amazing. It reminded me of my childhood because I grew up Italian. So I have like memories of my parents making like Italian sausage and peppers and, and things like that. And so like as someone who doesn't eat that now, it's nice to have like that smell and that feeling. And I was like, this smells incredible. Um, so that was always nice. <clears throat> and, um, you know, the, there was like a, the sound, the crackling sound. Oh, Jesus, fine. You get to draw a card. Must be nice. Uh, um, and it's like, oh, it's just so good. They're so good. Like if you guys don't eat, if you guys eat meat and you're trying to look for a plant alternative, try the Beyond Meat sausages. They're friggin' delicious. <sighs> Which mafia was your family? I, you know I can't. You know I can't say. Come on, don't be ridiculous. Also, that's racist. That's racist. Beyond Meat is made up of ground-up failed attempts at cloning humans. That's fine. I'm much more okay with eating humans than animals. You heard it here first, man. Frank would sooner be a cannibal than eat animals. That's not true. Okay, well, Jesus, this is not going well. Subway's getting the veggie meatballs in about six months. That's way too long, but I love that they're doing it. It would probably it would probably make me go back to Subway like regularly to eat these veggie meat meatballs. Veggie meatballs, huh? I'm really not a fan of this card, I'll be honest with you, because, well, they just keep drawing things. It takes them that long to grow them. They are veggies. Wow. That's a good point. Can confirm us the Beyond Meat products. They are insane and nice. I like it when I hear that from people who are not, like, vegetarians. Because it's, like, it's hard to do. It's hard to make a non-meat product that also, like, appeals two meat eaters and like there's times where i'll order like an impossible burger or like a beyond burger at a restaurant and i'll have to like double check and be like is this the right one did they mess up okay i guess i was just gonna kill like literally all of my creatures then it's really hard to it's really hard to win this game i've been watching you for a while on twitch and wondering how i can grow my youtube channel do i have any do's and don'ts from tg online uh, i have no idea because i am not actually great at growing my youtube channel to be quite honest with you I wish I was better at it, but um, I'm not, so. We are at 6, they are at 20. Let's go to the next game. Like, we can play one dude, and I'm going to want to block here, so we're going to eat. A, we're gonna lose a Gar Garambu Paladin just for this guy, and then we're going to take 5 and go to 1 and hope they don't have, like, a pump spell. Like, it seems terrible. <clears throat> Could bring a festive, fu festive funeral. I also think the Morningstar breakfast sausages are very good. This seems good. All this plant meat talk has me hankering for some cookies. Living above a CVS is a blessing and a curse. Wow, that's true. That's true. Unfortunately, you can only get, like, grocery store cookies at, like, a CVS, right? Like, Chips Ahoy or something. I would like to go get, like, a restaurant-quality cookie. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, like a big cookie that's super soft and delicious. Like, that feels like it was fresh-baked. That was a good draw.
Can you guys do me a favor and push it to the limit? Push to the limit. Is this a situation where we get aggressive? I think so. Okay, I like it. Yeah, it's not real bakery style, but it's downstairs, so that's fair. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a. It's a good compromise. Oh dang. Um, I guess we just play Deathless Knight and attack. It seems like a good situation to deal six here. Sixty nine percent of the decks in the MC four played Oko time to dump them. Yes, I think you're I think time to dump them was like a week ago. I would definitely unload any Okos if, you, if you're interested in that. I'm going to keep mine just because I would like to play them in like Modern or Pioneer for as long as they're legal. But And I'll, I'll have one for the cube. But um, yeah, as far as standard goes, that dude's... I, I, I don't have high hopes for Oko surviving in standard. This guy, huh? Well then, it's unfortunate that they have enough for Cauldron... And all of our guys die. Oh, well, if they just use it now, then never mind. Okay. That works for me, my friend. My huckleberry friend. <laughs> yep. Wanted to get rid of that guy, and we did it. Oh boy. Well, that's sad. This guy's a little scary. Not really looking for a beanstalk giant to come down at any point. My friend's cat passed last night. I feel so bad for her. She only has five more. So hmm. Well. I hope she gets through it. I hope she can get through this trying time. I kind of just want to play this. I mean, like, it's a 6-5. If they have Searing Barrage here, it sucks, but if they don't... Okay, it doesn't look like they do. <clears throat> Sure. Oh, wow. Another one. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, we're at 20, so we have some time to make dudes. You gotta make hay while the sun's shining. That's what they say. That's what they tell me. Wow, another O came. Another O, oh, an O came, bro came. Actually, I have no incentive to keep this. If we draw like a Forbidding Fruit, I'm going to be able to play a land that turn as well. And we have two of them in the deck, so I think I'm going to gladly block here.
Giving all our creatures plus two, plus two seems very, very good. You should write something about ethics and MTG. Hmm. Oh man, I'm very looking forward to uh, to Disney Plus. Okay. And their board's looking great here, but I think ours is too. Oh, muscle. Your switch stalker. So we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three guys would get through. They'd be three threes. No, they wouldn't, because these guys have to stay back. <clears throat> I guess we can attack with the tree folk and not really worry about it too much. Yeah, that seems good. That's a good block. Um, we'll go to the threatening one. I guess we don't have to pump here, right? We're just trading straight up. Tree for tree. I mean, it's only a matter of time before they go 7th lane, which is right now. And to this guy. Yep. Huh. Okay. Well, you see. I am boxy, you see. Uh, let's crack this. Play this guy. So I have one card in hand. That's okay. It's okay. That's pretty good. So what is this? Uncommon, 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 uncommon. That's pretty good. I guess we have uncommon. Un we have three. The problem is even if we bump this guy, these are both only six sixes and there's a seven seven. So <sighs> one, two, three. Uh, we have used one out muscle so far. Sarkara's pretty good when she kills our humans, but I guess we can always range her. I went full salt mode from this week, had to go and apologize to each opponent afterwards, hating that guy, but sometimes you just run so freaking bad, four to six games, never got a third land. Oh yeah, that, I know that feeling. And then I feel so bad afterwards, I'm like, guys, I'm really sorry. I'm terrible. Is it reveal? Exile. Okay, so I'll keep the exile window open. Yep, that's good. Free free card every turn. We're probably just going to lose to this, unfortunately. And I think our deck is actually very good, but... <sighs> oh my god, this is going to be... This is going to be decent, though. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's not unblockable. That balances the scales just a little bit. Um, Ten seconds in the micro to warm up. I've never actually warmed them up in the micro. That sounds like a great idea. Hmm. 
I've had days like that on Arena, like 10 games in a row. Either Floaters Hero feels bad. Also, hi, just watching. What's up, Lance? Good seeing you, buddy. Good seeing you, my dude. Um, I'm tempted to attack with both of these, but then they just go block four or five, block this guy, and then we like lose one guy no matter what. I mean, we want to trade like they only block three, seven, like seven, seven, and then we get to eat the seven, seven, but like it still doesn't seem great. Sending all but the pumpers won't pro dead on the crack back. It was this seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and twenty, like. 23 damage if nothing dies like four eight like th one two three four five six seven one two three four five six like they just have such good blocks is the problem maybe they don't have for that great of blocks maybe i do just let them figure it out sure whatever my favorite thing to microwave for, for a few seconds is donuts five seconds of microwave and it'll well, that's crazy. You guys are microwave experts. Show me that's my I guess double OK Ranger is pretty good. Uh, put you in the front so that you die. Can we kill them here? Are they dead? Because this is six. This is nine. I think they're just dead here. What? Double Ranger! Ranger! Told you. Yeah, you got me. You got me. I'm proud of you. This is the song called Jane Says by Jane's Addiction. So, you know. Gamma said went to college to teach kids math. Don't they know those kids get it for free in regular school? Tch, dummy. This hand's good. Keep. Why'd they keep seven? That's kind of rude. Every time Bonin's like, I'll keep seven, I'm just like, really, really? You're going to keep seven? Okay, I guess. Congratulations. It's just like, can you just mulligan? Like, why do you have to be like this? No one's impressed. No one's impressed by your seven. I'll keep them all. All the cards in my hand. I'm going to keep them all. Okay, buddy. Take it easy. Oh, wow. They're getting aggressive. They're pumping already. Woo! I'm impressed by how literally all of my opponents always keep seven if that counts. I don't know what it counts for, but it counts for something, I bet. I started talking with this woman on OKC. I told her I was heading out to play Magic with the brother, and she asked me to teach her to play it. I'm not sure if that would count as a date or not. Um, I think that's definitely 
in all my dating experience, that would definitely be um, a date. Because you're like, she's showing interest in something that's, that you are interested in, right? And that's super cool. Also, Thwok, feel free to just add me on Facebook, man. Like, we don't have to just be mutual Sherwin friends. Yeah, because it'd be weird if you're like, you meet someone on OKC, and then she wants you to teach her to help to play how to... She wants you to teach her how to play magic. But she's like, I'm not really interested in you, but just teach me how to play this thing. That's like, that's like, that's weird, right? That's a weird request if someone's not interested in you, like, romantically. I mean, I'm 100% blocking this guy, and if you want to, if you want to waste that pump turn... Can I get on another friends? Yeah, Phil, definitely, for sure. I had a friend on Facebook once, but he asked me if I knew Sherwin and he stopped. Wow, that's messed up. I can't believe I did that to you. I can't believe I did that to you. Well, we don't have anything here, but next turn, Revenge of the Ravens is pretty good. I've never been friends with a celebrity before. Well, I got news for you, buddy. You still haven't. <laughs> I just zinged myself. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Maybe we just play Deathless Knight instead. Like, we're going to take five, but we're going to gain two. Which is better? Which is better? So we only take three. We go to nine. Oh, that's true. It, yeah, if her username is Sylvanas, then you're like, yeah, you're totally in the clear, dude. Okay, so I'm I'm not sure if we just play this guy in block. The problem is if they have a removal spell, I think we're just going to play Revenge here. I don't like her very much. I gave it a few months and just couldn't get master. That's fine. I mean, that's that's fair. Also, if you guys are adding me, just shoot me a message as to who you are so I know to check. Oh wow, Revenge of the Ravens and Deathless Knight is pretty spicy. I didn't even I actually didn't even consider that interaction. That's hilarious. Uh I will just take it. I'll take three. Well, I guess I'll take four, but you know. Same thing. So next thing we can actually for voting for we'll take two, but then we can still gain one from this guy. That seems good. Mister Sinister as a villain is pretty non-threatening. His his biggest claim to I mean he's just a he's just a geneticist really. He's just a wacky geneticist. Night hockey, did you also send me a request? Is that you? Is that you, buddy? rude oh rise of skywalker is a bit in the future you guys should have a mandalorian date where you guys watch the mandalorian and then it gives you like a weekly thing to do
Guess I'll take four again. They're just gonna kill us with this guy. I do have a food out, I guess. Is it possible to just kill us here? I don't think so with one red. Oh, dang. All right, we can still outmuscle this. This guy will survive, and we can still eat our food. That sounds delicious. Out muscle. One, two, three, four. Done. Just gonna eat this now. I started getting a girl for two years because she wanted me to teach her how to play magic. It was an awful relationship in the long run. The magic was fun. Well, you gotta find those silver linings. That's a weird reason to start. That's a weird reason to get into a relationship. You know what I mean? Like, you can tap this guy down again. Oh, you're gonna scorching dragon fire it, and it gets exiled. Well, that's sad. Back down to six. More creatures would be nice. I guess that's fine. Good lord. Matthew Ori, what's going on, my dude? Thank you. T. Ravis, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. That is a good amount of months. I'm a fan. I appreciate you and all you do. Yep, that's fine. The walk that is totally considerate, buddy. I appreciate that. Land. It's not really a land. Oh, I guess we don't need a land because we have the this guy for the green. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, well. Ever sleep in a hotel bed that was much more comfortable than your bed at home? <laughs> I have and can't look at my bed the same way ever again. Oh god. That's brutal. You're like, what was I what was I doing? What was I doing with my life before now? Mistakes were made. Can you not tap both these guys down? I'd really appreciate that. Joust. Plus two, plus one, and fight. Ugh. Are we dead if we do this? We get the one block. Oh, I guess our, their guy dies, though, right? And then we can block here. Yeah, that seems good. I mean, if they attack with the Paladin, I'm 100% blocking that. This is fascinating. Yeah, I don't have any food, so this isn't, like, super big deal. And we'll take three, go to five, but... If you got a six-color MTG, what would a color be, and what would be the theme? Oh, wow, that's a really complex question to just ask on the fly. Oh, they didn't even pump. Okay. Double striker never coming back. Gonna double strike on the weeper. Um, do we want to take two here? I guess worst case scenario, we can just crack the food. Go to five. Yeah, we're hoping for a land so we can out, out muscle you and you. One, two, three, four. And if they have a removal spell, but like, it has to be something real specific. 
All right. <clears throat> We're at five. If they attack with both, we go to seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so like even if they kill this guy, they couldn't even pump both guys if they did that. Night hockey, thanks so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Just this guy, huh? Well, see, I don't want to take five, so we're just going to trade. And if we just keep one for one all your things, I think we win that battle, so. Yikes. Four, five, six, seven, or eight. Um... Yeah, okay. Garenberg Paladin. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Acolyte. Done. All right. How much is a bit worth? I considered watching ads on my phone to get the bits. A uh, bit is like a, a penny each. So 100 bits is a dollar. 1,000 bits is $10. Forty-seven bits is about half a dollar. Night hockey, thanks so much, buddy. You are awesome. Really appreciate it, my dude. The good thing about bits is that uh, Twitch actually takes out the the fees and stuff on their end. So if you donate like a hundred bits, the streamer gets all of it. They get all 100, 100 bitty boys. Wow, Curious Pair is insanely good against them. They could just pump twice, right? Yeah, they could just go pump, pump, and then block, which is pretty bad. So I'm just going to pass here. Picture of Mike before both of us, so we were dropping the bits. All oh, God. Oh, geez. Oh, this guy's very good. Okay, well. Yeah, this is a lot of weasel red caps. Weasel back red cap. Have been able to set up your accounts on your Disney have have that's give us I'm going to let you ask that question again uh, and use English. I know I know math is your strong suit, but I figured you could at least form sentences. So that's just my I'm just hoping you're gonna be able to do it. You know? I don't think we have anything else that really needs life, so I'm just gonna crack these while I can. Oh, that's pretty interesting. He's probably trying to make separate uh what are you saying? Boom, 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 boom. Whoa. Oh god. No, let's not do that. Good lord, don't drop your phone on the on the thing, stupid. I feel like it's pretty safe to just get in there with this guy, right? I want to make an account for Thwok and our mom. We share an account for account, so we each have our own. Uh, I have no idea how to do it. Is it? I didn't even know the app was. I didn't know the app was out yet. It makes sense to drop the app now, so people can download it and not have to worry about it. Um, I'm putting it on this guy because like it just makes them significantly bigger, and they probably have to like. They'll have to keep all their mana up to pump this guy next turn if they want to block. These weasels are freaking cute, though. Look at that little cutie. Oh, that just wins in the game. Wins us the game. Okay. Um. Hmm. Wolf's Quarry seems actually fantastic against them, against them comically enough. Because it just blocks all their weaselback guys. It blocks their 4-1. So... 
Uh, Squire, same thing. Uh, okay, Ranger, same thing. Our deck actually seems pretty good against theirs, I would say. Uh, we could probably take a return out. I didn't think I saw anything. Let me. I'm gonna look in the app store to see if I can find Disney Plus. I keep, I keep writing Disney, and it keeps it keeps looking for Disney Plus, and I'm like, no, I appreciate you not correcting me, but that's not a thing. Yeah, there's no Disney Plus app in the store that I can see. Uh, Zombub Disney Plus comes out tomorrow, literally Tuesday. So today for, for us, for you, if that makes sense. Oh man, I would totally watch Endgame tomorrow. So it is a rock. I don't even know this song just gets stuck in my head sometimes wolf's quarry is great tech against the mono red cap deck so is ginger brute kind of but like if you're just trading a 1-1 for a 1-1 it's not as good because if i could trade and still get the life i'd be like oh that's really good it's elk's day my dude is it elk's day is it elk day Um, I'd be more inclined to play Memory Theft if they if I saw more adventure cards from them. I think the only one we saw was like the bird. I don't think we saw Rim not Rim Rock Knight. I'm not sure. Oh, one land, huh? If we can have a second land, this hand's actually not terrible. We're on the draw. They mulled the six. I'm in. I'm in, dude. I am the most in that anyone has ever been in. Come on, land, 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 land. We did it. We did it. We're super greedy. We did it. I'm okay with it. Oh, what a curious little pair. If we could just hit more lands. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty well, we did not hit another land, so. Just play this curious pair. If we hit another land, we can go pair and pair. Get some treats. Treat it up. Always gonna block. ABB. Always be blocking. Let's get dangerous. When there's trouble, you can call DW. Darkwing Duck. Let's get dangerous. Okay, well. That's a draw. So many treats. These kids are so curious. Hi, gamer. Thanks so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Hi, appreciate it. Really, really. Good. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Come on, land. One time. Oh, yes. Oh, get him. <gasps> Emma Skyward Eye. Or Skyward Eye. Oh my god, I always think of Skyward Eye. Uh, what's our, what are they called? Prophets of the Skyward Eye? Whatever the magic card is, that's always what I think of when I see your name. Emma, what's going on? There is a... I'm looking it up right now. Also, the art for that card is fantastic. Skyward Eye Prophets is what I think of. It's these dudes. Lurking and listening. That should be the name of a podcast. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lurking and Listening. I'll be your host. Frank? <laughs> it was really anticlimactic, I think. That Yeah, this card's great. This card is fantastic. Also, the art's super cool, too. Um, I guess we're blocking here because, you know. So over under how long till the Disney app cart crashes tonight? Uh, so the Disney, so apparently I read that Disney Plus was not going to be legal until tomorrow uh, at around like 9 a.m. Eastern time. So it's not going to be like a midnight thing. It's going to be a 9 a.m. tomorrow thing. Maybe. That's as far as what I've heard. Hmm. Well, all episodes of Lurking and Listening are recorded in the bushes outside of my ex-wife's house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's true. That's true. That is where they are. Uh, that is where they are recorded from. Sometimes her boyfriend comes over and it's super awkward. But here at uh, Lurking and Listening, we, uh, we're committed to, to quality content. So... I'm just going to play this guy, I guess. Um, the site says seven hours from now. Well, shit, I don't... Yeah, seven hours from now is 6 a.m. Or... No. That's 6 a.m. Eastern, though. Interesting. Buddy, I have no idea, okay? Buddy? They have one card in hand? All right, we'll just play this thing. It's whatever. Just got home. So turns out a one-mana green cryptic command is bannable. It's true. It's true. Interesting. Six AM. Do I just stay up until six AM to watch Disney Plus when it's when it's available? <sighs> well, I guess we'll get here. And do we just take three? No, we're gonna make you work for it, I guess. Okay, so nothing on board. And then it's just our turn with two foods. Two foods? I'll just play this 5-5. Five, five. And they're like, well, I can't deal with it. Good game. I'm like, well, all right. It's fine. Did they just true love's kiss a food? Please. That's aggressive. Well, we're at 10. They have one card and a trebuchet, so I think we're okay here. I don't know. I'm no expert. I'm no expert at this game, guys. But, uh... Let's just attack and see what happens. Actually, how many times can you... You can pump this dude... To make him humongous? That's rough. 
I guess we could sack the food and kill it. Okay, you know what? I'm game. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, they're just gonna concede. All right, sure. <laughs> you know what? That works too. You wanna save us all the trouble? I appreciate it. As a consumer, I think all these exclusive content streaming services are stupid. As a film crewer, I've never been busier in my field. That's awesome, though. The thing is, I kind of like having the choice, right? Like, it's getting to a point where it's just piecemeal cable, right? Like, instead of instead of getting, like, $70 a month for cable, where, like, you don't watch 90% of the channels, instead you're like, well, I'll watch these Disney things, and I'll watch Netflix, and I'll watch Hulu, right? So then I'm paying $35 a month for these three services. And I get most of the things I want, right? And I think that's fine. My problem is when every... Whenever, like, I liked the arrangement where Netflix had, like, The Office or Friends or, you know, whatever, right? Whereas, like, if NBC's like, we're going to have our own streaming service, it's like, well, I'm not going to get your NBC streaming service because you just don't have enough quality content. I'm sorry. No offense, NBC but like you have like two shows and I'm not going to do it so you're just preventing me from watching The Office like I'm not going to get like an NBC streaming service an ABC streaming service a Foxy streaming service an FA I'm not going to get a streaming service dedicated to single channels on a network like that's just kind of ridiculous so like I don't know that part kind of bugs me but but, I mean, I've watched The Office, like, six times on, on Netflix. And I'm in, like, my seventh watch through. Because it's just, like, such a comfortable show. Like, if I'm, like, depressed or if I'm just, like, I don't have anything to watch, I'll just throw it on. Uh, the Seinfeld TV service is actually... Seinfeld's on Hulu, thankfully. Which is super nice. What about Amazon Prime, though? Yeah, Amazon Prime is actually great, too. I was surprised at the amount of cool shit is, that, that's on Amazon Prime. I think the four I have... I have Amazon Prime because I have Amazon Prime. Prime Video, I guess you'd call it. I have Hulu, but Hulu I have with ads because it's connected to my Spotify account. If you have Spotify Premium, you get, like, free Hulu with ads which is totally fine. So that's another one that's like built into a package I already have. Uh, I have Netflix and now I have Disney Plus. Those are the only like subscription show services I have. I can just pick a random episode of Scrubs and watch for hours. I don't think you can because each, each episode of Scrubs is probably like 22 minutes. So it seems really difficult to watch one episode of Scrub for, for hours. Like that's, that doesn't even make any sense. It's like you're not even trying to make sense. This is nice because we can go turn four, out muscle something, maybe if we want to. Turn five, paladin, and make a food. Yeah, I did see that like with Verizon, you get Mandalorian for free. Or not Mandalorian, <laughs> Disney Plus for free. <laughs> if, you, if you have Verizon, you get Mandalorian for free. Wow, that's pretty cool. Just that one show? Yeah, just the just the one. Oh Jesus. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well. The cheapest way to stream my wrestling programs. Fucking nerds, am I right? Each player discards a card and sacrifices a creature. You got it. I guess we'll choose this and, uh, okay. Are we going to know this guy? I guess so. All right. Well, our only creature was better than, was better than your worst creature. So that's a good, solid strategy. 
That's not going to do it. This is problematic. Well, we are in the finals, so... What do you expect other than Mythic 3-3 three, three Flyer that has Liliana of the Veil, Hypnotic Spectre, and uh, Phyrexian Arena stapled onto it? No blocks. You guys want to know what my, one of my guilty pleasure shows is that I absolutely love? Curse of Oak Island. And the, like the sixth or sixth season, I think, just started. Fifth season, sixth season, seventh season, maybe? The seventh season just started. Each player discards a card. Let's get rid of Appetite. No, no. <laughs> We're not casting it. Like, Curse of Oak Island is 100% is pure nerd shit in the style of a history channel where it's like everything is like super dramatized and everything uh, there's like so much filler but for some reason i just love it i just I, I think it's a really super interesting show and uh i was interested in oak island even before i started watching it which is why i started watching it but like it's so funny because they're like hey look we found a gold coin and then the narrator which is like the famous narrator who narrates literally everything on history channel is like a gold coin in the swamp and you're like yeah, dude, we know. They found the gold. Come on. We knew you were going to say it. And they're like, well, I think this is... I think that... I think we found this brick like 30 feet down, and that's ridiculous. And they're like, a brick 30 feet down? And you're like, oh, jeez. You're not... You're just being ridiculous right now. Steven C., what's going on, my dude? No, the thing is, like, A, no part of me ever wants to stop watching Oak Island. And B, there's no way they don't find something at the end of all this. All the little things they've found along the way have totally, like, just, they suck me in every time. Like, what is that, a weird gem? Oh, shit. Look at those, look at those plywoods. You know, and I just get my mind blown every time. I'm from Nova Scotia, and someone I work with tries to talk to me about it constantly whenever a new season is. It's fantastic. Oh my god. Don't be a hater. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, of course he's going to make the second paladin. I mean, what am I going to do, though? Just not... I'll show you. I won't play anything at all. I mean, at least if we make them sack the paladin, then they have to sack something too, right? But right now, they're not going to do anything. They're just going to make me discard this swamp so that we can die a horrible death. Spoiler, so they find at the end of Oak Island is Mike B. Oh my god. Okay, well. Okay, well that was fun. Now I am going to bring in this memory theft. Probably Festive Funeral too. It's just a removal spell, which is nice because they have that stupid idiot that wants a removal spell. You've got the Curious, uh, the Giant Skewer, maybe Insatiable Appetite. Their guys don't seem big. Maybe a Foreboding Fruit. Working in film ruins all shows and movies. That's why I'm on Twitch. Not exaggerated realness. <laughs> if there's any, if there's any flaws with Vickers Vogel, I don't actually think it's with the subject matter. I think it's just with the over dramatization that History Channel spins on it, because I think the premise and the actual like um, act of like excavating this this awesome like area of the island of Nova Scotia is, is actually super interesting, especially with the history of Oak Island. Like, it's a super interesting concept. So I think the only reason the show is actually 
um, not as well received as it could be is because of like just the over dramatization, like the over the topness of it. I'm scraping snow off my car, buddy. It's like 80 degrees here. Actually, it's like freaking gorgeous. It's like 60 degrees. It is currently 70 degrees. Oh, Jesus. Dan, I don't know if you're watching this season, but they, they're going back to the swamp right now. It's happening right now, my dude. The first episode, I've watched half of it so far. I haven't finished it because it's actually a double episode and that's super cool to me. But um, yeah, the, the this season starts with them like really doing a, a deep dive, you might say, on the swamp. Also, if anybody who's watching Oak Island can commiserate with me, because I was, like, super sad that Dan Blankenship died. Like, wow, what a fucking downer, dude. Dan Blankenship's, like, this 94-year-old dude who was, like, one of the original excavators of the island who, like, did it by himself. He was treasure hunting on the island back in, like, God, the 50s, maybe, I think. And, like... I'm going to keep and he he's like been there through every step of the way for like this modern generation and he like it he he just passed away between the last two seasons between season 6 and 7 Can we get the narrator from history channel to record and he drew another land <laughs> That would be so fucking hilarious dude he's like another land from the top of his deck. What show are you talking about? It's called The Curse of Oak Island. It's like a it's like a a docudrama on on History Channel. I bet you could find all the words for another land, like in the you know, at the, you'd have to go through all of that footage though, which would be like just brutal. I expect you to have the result in your mailbox, but dude, that happens all the time where I'm like, man, it'd be really cool if someone could do this. And then like three days later, they're like, Hey, I saw you in a video that you wanted this to happen. And you're like, wow, that's amazing. How did you do that? A soundbite from the narrator in my inbox. All right, I'm just going to pass here. Kind of crazy that underside of the island is a skull. You know what, buddy? That might be, that might be some creative liberty they took with the the illustration of the island. I'll be honest with you. Because it's a human. It's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is surprising that it hasn't been made a TV show yet, actually. That's interesting. That seems like a... They can't lie on TV. It's 100% a skull. Oh, shit. I think you're right. I forgot about that clause. Let's make this dude real fat. Cause we, oh, let's play Revenge of Ravens, actually. What are you going to do about that, my dudes?
It is Wednesday, my dudes. I don't know. It looks real to me. <laughs> well, shit. I guess I can't argue with that. Babe, I'm leaving. I must be on my way. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do for one mana? Oh, you're going to play another one of these dudes. Okay. Another one of these jabronis. Jabroni balonies. Should I get in there? I feel like we're in a safe position to just get in there. Come on, forest. Dang it. Actually, this guy's definitely getting in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is good. Let's do this. I'll trade with these guys all day. Oh, not my deathless knight. What are you going to do, attack? I'll get it back. I'll be lonely without you. Discard two cards. Wow. Actual scumbag. Guess I'll play this land. Well, what can you do? What's this? Rankle? Elite Headhunter. It's not bad. Eat food and get Rider back? Solid. I was almost thinking that same thing. Wait, we had six mana? Oh, we should have done it during our turn. That's a dumb thing to do. I thought we had five mana. I don't know why. I literally just miscounted my land. Like a like a damn amateur. A damateur, if you will. Get in there. Do your do your do your job. You can block here? No? Okay. Yeah, read my message from us. Yeah, that's my that's my I think you I think it actually came after that turn. Because it came at 11.24 in the chat, right? And then it's 11.24 here was their turn six. So at 11.23, I played my forest. So it, your message could only have come after their turn six. Did they? Fuck God. Everyone has the exile effect. This is two matches in a row where they had a way to exile my dude. That's real impressive. I'm really impressed. I'm impressed. That's impressive. Let's each take one. Don't be a land. That doesn't actually do anything, really, unfortunately. <laughs> our our one three becomes a two four and actually does not does not favorably exist with these guys does rankle have cankles uh, I don't think so because I don't think you have things that rhyme with your name right like 
I don't think there's a higher correlation between what you're... Oh, here he comes right now. See, you had to say something. You had to be like, oh, I'm going to mention Rankle and have you read it out loud so that they can play it. And just... Yeah, that's just life. They're going to be like, sack a creature, discard a card. And I'm going to be like, oh, damn. I mean, they're at 15, though. They're basically dead. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four. Like, we can draw a three drop. Like our Rose Thorn Acolyte to kill this if they don't make us discard. They're going to, though. Discard and sack a creature. Wow. Yep. Sacrifice a cr I'll choose this one. Thanks. This is what's known as being way... Like, it sucks because as long as they have at least one extra creature on board. And now this guy's a super easy card to sacrifice. So no matter what our creature is, they just get to kill it. Like, this is actually a super frustrating magic card if you're ahead. I'm going to assume we're dead here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Kill Rankle with your festive funeral. Okay, well... I'm not dead yet. They have no cards in hand. The problem with Bognati is that we only have seven mana, not eight. So we can't actually play Bognati and make them sacrifice, uh, or, or, you know, sacrifice the food in order to kill something. Um, but we do have Festive Funeral now, so. Yep, that's pretty good. You gonna put on that guy? Sure. Sure, my dude. It is. And if we let them attack first, we get an extra life out of it. Okay. Get him. Get right on out of here. I don't know why you'd equip and do this when you can just play a 4-5 flyer. Like, that seems significantly better than just putting an equipment on a guy. But, what do I know? Interesting. Uh, I think you should probably still slam the like and subscribe. I don't think you should ever not slam them. See, now you're just going to have to move it to this guy. See, this is why we literally brought this in for the rankle and it worked out. So, However, it does not necessarily put us in a good position. Oh, God. Oh, God. I almost clicked the... Reaper of Night. Can I gently caress the lichens? Yeah, if you want to. I am not. It's it's far be it for me to suggest how aggressively uh, you interact with the like and subscribe button. As long as it is consensual and enjoyable for both parties, the like, the subscribe, and yourself, I believe you guys can interact with it in any any way you desire. Something good. Absolute trash. All right. So we're we taking four, five, six, seven, eight. If they equip, we gain two. So we take six. We go to eight. Yeah. Guys, if you want to support the content that you're watching right this second, do me a favor. Go to patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. You can donate one or two dollars a month. Not even, not even a day, not even a video, a month. I can't even think of a less amount than a dollar a month to support content that you watch regularly. Go to patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Help me out. Give me a, a fourth of a coffee a month and we'll call it even. That's pretty good when you got three food. You can also use your Amazon Prime sub to head on over to Twitch. Another land. And then... When I when I when this happens and we get this flood, I feel better about it. When you guys come over with your Amazon Prime, Twitch Prime subs, and you bring them over to Twitch, and then you you subscribe and then you help me out, or you go to Patreon.com or you slam those like and subscribe buttons, 
And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.